Hi guys, so if you're watching this video, most likely you've thought about it or decided to move to Germany. So today I'm going to share my 10 things to do before moving to Germany list. In the past year, Germany uh, has been a really interesting destination for a lot of people in the world. So I guess a lot of people are either thinking or they have already decided uh, that they're going to move to Germany. But there are a couple of things that you need to do prior to moving in order to actually uh, making it possible to, to move here or to at least minimize the stress from changing a country in the first place. So number one on the list is of course a visa. Uh, if you're in, from an EU country, you don't have to take care of those things. But I have uh, some colleagues at work and some friends which actually require visa to be here in Germany and I know the process is a bit tough. So this is the most important thing is to get your visa without any problems and uh, not re uh, rely on something like uh, I have 60 or 90 days free uh, in Germany and by then I should have gotten my visa or not. Make sure you got your visa before you come here. It makes things a lot easier. Number two is a work contract. Uh, if you can get this prior to coming here, having a signed contract that on a certain date you start working, this will speed up things so much because uh, once you have a contract saying that you will earn X amount of money, uh, people can judge uh, if you can afford a flat or something like that and uh, yeah basically it removes the variable of income and uh, at least for the upcoming couple of months in the beginning but definitely speeds up things number three is translate as much as possible of your important documents before coming to germany yes it is possible to translate most most of the documents here no matter what language you're looking for there is always at least one translator somewhere here or at least the embassies but it costs an arm and a leg so it might be cheaper to translate them uh, in your home country or if you are from the european union some documents are provided in this multi-language uh, format now so you can directly request for example a birth certificate and it comes in uh, a format that supports every language in the European Union. Some of the documents uh, include birth certificates, marriage certificate, this is really important in order to fix your uh, tax class. There would be a separate video for that because taxes are really complicated here in Germany. Uh, to be honest, I don't understand them fully, but uh, there are some tricks and tips on that. So I'll make another video, especially for taxes. Number four is take a language course. Doesn't matter if you know the language or uh, you don't know it, take a language course prior to coming here. It will freshen up or if you don't know anything about German, uh, it will give you some basis. Uh, I was traveling uh, on some business trips a lot to Germany before moving here and I was going to Frankfurt, it's a really international city and I got this feeling that uh, I could manage without learning German uh, before I came here but the problem was I actually moved to Bavaria which is not so international and uh, a lot of people tend uh, to stick only to German it will definitely help you in a day-to-day -day life if you have at least some basis uh, of the language. Uh, it doesn't matter if it's actually courses, you can also try learning on, on your own, buy some books. There are a lot of uh, self-guides on, uh, uh, on the internet that you can order or uh, practice books or even apps on the phone like Duolingo. To be honest, I bought a lot of books i basically bought out all, all on amazon that is like uh, learning german on my own help books uh, a lot of the books from pons they are really helpful but i think they're not for beginners if you're a beginner this is the thing that i think it's the best this is what helped me in the beginning the most this is uh, a course book from schubert i'm going to leave a link to their website uh, in the description below so you can check them out you can order them you can learn 
on yourself with them. English, mother do you speak it? Or with a teacher, they're quite helpful. I think I'll dedicate a separate video on how to learn German on your own, some tips and tricks, and but that's for a later period. Number five, research the country in general and the town you're thinking of going to. Uh, there are some different rules in different uh, areas in Germany and uh, also this will minimize the stress when you actually arrive here. Uh, uh, researching some uh, local rules, uh, some locations of certain buildings like hospitals, registration office, uh, rules like uh, when to take out the trash, how to do it separately, and uh, typical German things. Uh, for all of those topics, I will make additional videos, like super detailed, so you can do your actual research on, on this channel. So don't forget to subscribe and wait for the other videos. Number six is look for connections. Uh, there are two ways to do that, either through friends, whether it's intentional or not, or through the internet. Uh, so through friends, for example, I actually met two, peop two people uh, before I moved uh, to where I'm currently at in Nuremberg. And that was uh, accidentally through friends. I just said, you know what, in a couple of months I'm moving there, blah, blah, blah. And the response on the other side said, I, you know, I, I know a guy that lives there. Uh, here are the context of that guy. and. To my surprise, both both people were like really helpful, uh, and uh, I honestly don't know how I would have managed in the beginning without them. Uh, for example, one of the guys uh, uh, went to, to see the apartment that I'm currently living in because I did not have the opportunity to travel prior to that uh, to Germany, and uh, also since I arrived on a Sunday, nothing works here on sun on a Sunday. He got the keys for the apartment uh, for me and was waiting for me uh, when I arrived here. So thanks a lot. Uh, the other the other way is through Facebook groups. Almost every city or in general in a, on a global German level, there is some groups like uh, ex-country uh, guys living and working in Germany or expats in Germany or in a certain city. You can always. Uh, join these groups and uh, try to find people willing to help. You will be surprised how many people are willing to help for nothing, just for the sake of helping others. Number seven, if it's fixed the move to Germany, make sure to plan some free time after you arrive here. Uh, for example, if you have to negotiate a starting date for your work, make sure to include a week that you can for example, have free uh, to go and uh, register, look around your neighborhood and stuff like that. Don't make the mistake I did. I worked until Friday and on Saturday I shipped off to, to Germany. Basically, I arrived on Sunday. Thank God at least Monday was a holiday, so it w wasn't a workable day. I could just relax after the trip. But on Tuesday, I started my new job. That means that I had to run before work to the registry office and uh, do a lot of paperwork and run here and there, which led to 13, 14 hours per day in total work and dealing with uh, documentation and registrations and, and stuff. And it's really terrible in the beginning, might as well s save the stress and uh, yeah, plan some time ahead. At least one week should be enough in order to do everything properly and start your new job as calm as possible. Number eight, try to find a real estate agency in the town you're looking for. There, there is at least one per town that offers, for example, furnished apartments. So for example, if you're moving uh, from really far away with an air, uh, using an airplane and you cannot bring everything with you that you need, uh, it's good to find a furnished apartment and uh, they can actually make it available for you as soon as you arrive. You can do the do documents uh, online, transfer money and everything. It's not a problem, but uh, it will definitely be helpful to have your own place when you get here. Not to mention to save a lot of money from hotels and stuff like that. Number nine is kind of like optional because it doesn't apply to a lot of people, but I need to mention this. It's regarding piracy. Uh, there are people that download a lot of things illegally outside of Germany using torrent files. Um, just forget this if you're moving to Germany. Before you come to Germany, make sure to d 
delete and install every torrent tracker and whatever you have on your PC because you might end up forgetting that you left it on. You come to Germany and the next thing you get is a big fat fine for uploading some torrent files or downloading something. They really uh, track this really, really good here in Germany and the fines are just crazy high. So yeah, uninstall everything you've got. You also won't need it here anyways. And number 10 is if you're planning to move with your car here, make sure you have all of your papers correct. So uh, Germans, yeah, they're famous about this, but they tend to, to like all the documentation properly done. So that means your service book needs to be uh, fully uh, filled. You need your registration documents something called a COC, Certificate of Conformity. Uh, this you can get from your local dealers. Uh, it can be uh, acquired here in Germany, but as, as well as like translations, it costs twice or three, three times more than your, in your home country. So make sure to get this prior to that. Um, also one tip here, make sure to get from your insurance companies documentation about your ownership of cars and that you had no accidents. This will lead to some ins insurance discounts here in Germany. You're going to need them because they're expensive as hell. Uh, but more details on that, I'll make a separate video about registering cars and dealing with insurance companies here in Germany because this is a really long topic. So yeah, guys, the, that's it with the 10 things you need to do before moving to Germany. If you like this list, leave a thumbs up, subscribe. If you think I, I missed something, leave a comment below or uh, just let me know on Twitter or, uh, or here, it doesn't matter. I would love to hear if I missed something or you think something is more important than the things I listed. So yeah, until next time guys, bye.